Luke, how do you feel like the tight ends have performed as a unit so far this season? I think we're improving a lot as the season goes on, which is what we need to do, you know, so we can be playing our best football uh, at the end of the season. So, yeah, I think as a group, uh, which is which is what we need, just everybody working off of each other, improving. Urban said he wants to see you guys get more involved in the passing game. What do you feel like are things you guys can do so that the ball comes your way more often? Uh, as it always has been, you got to prove yourself blocking first, which I think we've been doing pretty well. And then, um, you know, just cleaning stuff up, like I said, just keep improving on how we run our routes to our, and to our stuff. For you personally, how much have you enjoyed finally being out there and playing all the time this year? It's awesome. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's a dream come true growing up in Ohio. So, uh, yeah, no, no other thing feeling like it. What do you feel like are the things that you did well to give yourself the opportunity to earn that starting position coming out of the season? Uh, like I said, I think I proved myself uh, blocking uh, in the interior, on pass pro and everything. And I made a big leap my freshman like spring and in that following fall, uh, I thought I did a lot to, uh, to you know, make my name there. How do you feel like you and Rashad complement each other? Uh, like I was saying, we both are improving as the season goes on, and that's really good. That's what we need, uh, so we can work off of each other, uh, so the load isn't all on one person. And I think that's been working out really well. You were talking about the blocking ability, of, or the necessary blocking for the tight end position. Why is having a tight end in the passing game important for this offense? Um, you know, I think, as Coach Wilson always talks about, uh, you run into a, little, a lot of problems when you don't have a tight end that can block well, um, whether it's uh, you know, in protection or perimeter running or uh, running the quarterback too much or getting hits on him, you know, and he feels and we feel that it's like crucial for our offense. What we're going to do. And the, in the passing game, is it just the short routes or what? What? What stands out, especially for a good passer or a good receiving tight end? You know, running crisp routes. You know, straining on straining on your, uh, you know, getting downfield, being able to. To you know, spread spread that offense or the defense open when you when you get your spots. How have you how have you seen Jeremy Ruckert come along since he arrived on campus this summer? He's been doing great. I mean, uh, ever since he got here in the summer, he just he just wants to be better, which is awesome. You know, doing whatever he can uh, mentally, physically to get better, and uh, you can see the. Were you Coach curious Wilson? when he got here? I mean, he was you know big five, four or five star guy, renowned for splitting the scene down the middle and all that kind of stuff. Were you? Curious about how good he how good he was and how has he lived up, I guess, to that curiosity. I mean, I was just my mindset was just, well, I can't wait we'll to get him here and, and see what he can do. And he's definitely exceeded expectations, and, and his improvement has been has been great. Yeah. Dwayne says that he Sorry. has he, the word he used was arrangements with players, movies for some, dinners for others, just. Things that they that some of his players try to do to get them to remember that they're out there and he can pass to them. Do you have an arrangement with with Wayne or do you <laughs> um, get one? Or? No, I mean, I just try to prove myself, you know, on film. So if he sees me, then he knows he can rely on me. But now that you've heard that other people are trying to bribe, I him. might have to. I might have to talk to him. After this. Do you and Rashad feel like sort of like the the wild card of the offensive front? If you understand what I'm saying, because they like to stand you guys up a lot in that H thing floats you back and forth and yeah. stuff. You're, you're kind of like, you know, this team likes to break. It doesn't have a fullback, but <laughs> it looked like you guys fill the gap, so to speak. Yeah, but, we kind of uh, we kind of take on that responsibility when yeah. it's needed. You know, getting two tight ends out there is another thing that Coach Wilson, uh, you know, wants to do, and I think we've been able to do, and we're going to keep doing it because it helps. You well, know, the, like you said. Yeah. Well, the emphasis this, this week by Urban Myers, then he wants to see the running game get a, be more effective and stuff. And obviously, teams have been loading up on you guys. Uh, I would think you and Rashad will play a big role in that. Uh, 
do, do, do you feel like there's some responsibility for you guys in, in that regard? Yeah, and I think the responsibility has been there. You know, we want to be on the field yeah. as many times as, as we can. So it's been. If you got calls for a penalty, I'm not sure. I'm just going to work. Yeah. Uh, just technique error. You know, unfortunate, but. Assuming that, I knew that I was going to have to prove myself as a blocker to get on the field and uh, be able to contribute in this offense. And you know, the, the passing and the, the getting the reception will help go on from there. So I still, you know, work to be you know, uh, all around tight end every day. So blocking first, just getting that down, and then working on the receiving. Is that kind of how you approach? I mean, out. In our offense, our tight ends are expected to do everything okay. uh, pretty evenly, so we have to be uh, pretty uh, crisp. Being a big guy, what, what, what is the, what's the biggest challenge to becoming an effective blocker? I think for me, coming in, uh, you know, tall and long, just being able to play with the pad level that we need to play with, getting low, and then, uh, you know, working my hands. And, and uh, yeah, really just that. Yeah, I mean, positioning, things like, I mean, you know what I mean? What are you? Before play, what are, are you? What, what's going through your mind as you get up and you know you're blocking on that particular play? Uh, for me, just basic stuff that Coach Hinton will talk about and Coach Wilson will talk about. Just feet and hands, just quick feet, quick hands, yeah. and uh, you know the rest will work itself up from there. Jake Hausman's a guy who came in with you. What have you seen from him? How has he developed? Uh, he's been improving a lot too. He had to deal with he had a little hamstring early in the season, which is tough. He's been dealing with a lot of injuries so far, which which is uh, never easy, but um, he's been making improvements as well and getting back to full 100% healthy and looking forward to having him too. Do you have to kind of help a guy, you know, keep his spirits up if maybe he's had trouble getting on the field and then has an injury? Yeah, I think that's important for like the brotherhood and, and uh, being tight as a unit in the tight end room. You know, we got to pick up guys, whether it's any issue they're having and obviously injuries uh, never fun. So. Luke, has Coach Wilson been maybe more hands-on this year than he was last year? I know Ryan Day's kind of taken on more of the play. Has Coach Wilson been able to invest in the tight end room a little bit more this year? I think he's been investing since day one. You know, ever since he got here uh, that winter, he just wanted to, uh, you know, get to know us, do whatever he could to improve us. So there hasn't really been any difference because 